fans have been so focused on what's going to happen during the movie Dragon Ball Super Broly, but we're going to talk about what might happen to Broly afterwards. Now that Broly is finally being added to the canon, will Goku simply punch him into a comet and call it a day? We'll let you know why we think this legendary Super Saiyan might just be sticking around. But before we take a look at what might happen to Broly after the Dragon Ball Super movie, subscribe to CBR and ring that bell to join our notification squad so you never miss any of our Dragon Ball videos. There are tons of great characters in the Dragon Ball franchise, but for whatever reason, Broly has been a fan favorite ever since his debut in Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Despite not being a part of the canon, he remained incredibly popular with a devoted following. According to Shueisha Inc.'s section chief, Akio Iyoku, there's a shockingly simple reason why some fans fans can't get enough of Broly. He's really strong. Yes, it's so simple it almost sounds kinda stupid, but Dragon Ball audiences want to see the strongest characters, and Broly is one of them. Basically, Ioku claims anyone who can give Goku a run for his money tends to be a huge hit, but the character isn't without his issues. For one, many Broly haters claim the character's entirely two-dimensional. Sure, he wants to fight Goku, who doesn't? But that's about it, and the disastrous film Bio Broly did little to improve his standing in the Dragon Ball community. Even among Broly fans, it's widely regarded as the worst movie in the entire franchise. Ouch! Talk about being legendary for the wrong reasons. But considering the fact that they're making yet another Broly movie and allowing him into the canon, this leads us to believe they have big plans for his character. Dragon Ball Super Broly will clear up a lot of information about the official backstories regarding some of our favorite characters, like Goku and Vegeta. Depending on how Broly fits into it all, there's a good chance this movie won't be the last time we see Broly. Some movie merchandise has emerged with a tag reading Super Rumors. Does a new fate await the internationally popular Broly in this new film? Now, in the original Dragon Ball Z Broly movie, Broly's fate was pretty short, and ended with Goku punching him to death. This leads many fans to optimistically believe Broly may become a substantial part of the franchise this time around. We know that Dragon Ball Super Broly is going to explore the backstories of Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, and how they tie together. Goku and Vegeta may both be Saiyans, but they don't exactly see eye to eye most of the time. In fact, during Dragon Ball Z Broly, the battle would have gone a lot faster if Vegeta would have just shared some power with Goku from the get-go. But we guess that sums up the majority of the Dragon Ball battles. Anyways, we've seen proof that the art of fusion will factor into the new movie, and we even get a chance to see Gogeta, one of the fusions of Goku and Vegeta. It seems reasonable to assume these two will confront their tragic pasts on planet Vegeta, gain a newfound respect for one another, and fuse together in order to defeat Broly. But what if Goku and Vegeta aren't the only ones forging a connection during this movie. In the previous films, even Broly fans have to admit that his motivations for wanting to destroy Goku are kind of lame. Broly was annoyed by hearing baby Goku cry back on planet Vegeta, so now he wants to eliminate him as an adult. But it's possible that with new backstories being established, he might have a slightly more realistic motive for fighting with Goku, and it might be one which could be overcome before the end of the movie. This would be far from the first time Goku has turned an enemy into a friend, or at least a begrudging teammate. By coming to terms with their pasts, it's possible Goku and Vegeta may actually be able to connect with Broly on some level. We aren't saying they'll become the best of friends, but they may be able to coexist in the same universe without constantly trying to take one another down. Not only would it be nice to see the few remaining Saiyans making peace, but we know a ton of fans would be thrilled with this. Getting a Broly with more personality, a better backstory, and one who gets to stick around would be a dream come true for many of us. As for how the anime storyline might continue following Dragon Ball Super Broly, we have some ideas. The power of the Saiyans versus the Gods of Destruction has been contested since the very beginning of Dragon Ball Super, starting with the Battle of the Gods arc. We saw Beerus awake after a prophetic dream concerning a Super Saiyan God who was neither Goku or Vegeta. Ever since then, the power of the Saiyans growing to rival the Divine Order has been hinted at numerous times, and many fans feel this may be a major plot point in the near future. Many fans anticipate Dragon Ball Super Broly will set the stage for what comes next, and Broly could be an important player in the battle between the Saiyans and the Gods of Destruction. Beerus did have a hand in Frieza destroying planet Vegeta, and Broly could come to obtain this knowledge in the movie. If this happens, could the legendary Super Saiyan turn his legendary rage upon Beerus? And if so, would his power be enough to defeat him? Although Planet Vegeta was destroyed by Frieza, some Saiyan children were launched into space moments before, allowing them to grow up elsewhere in the universe. Obviously, we know that Goku, Vegeta, and Broly managed to escape the destruction of their homeworld. But could there be other 
pure living Saiyans out there. Look, we're not saying it was a good thing that the Saiyan race was nearly wiped out, but they weren't known for their peaceful natures. They love to fight, and they're pretty darn good at it. Goku and Vegeta are lucky, all things considered, that they were surrounded by enough good influences to make them into who they are today. Broly, on the other hand, has a much more tragic backstory, which led him to become his very unstable self. Do you think Broly is too far gone to ever join the cast of Dragon Ball Super? Or will he become an important character in the anime? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Then click on that subscribe button for more great videos from us here at CBR. Thanks for watching.